Hello, I am Matt Burson, Chief of the Professional Standards Division of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. This critical incident briefing is intended to provide you with information about a deputy-involved shooting that occurred adjacent to the railroad tracks near 17300 Railroad Street in the City of Industry. As part of this briefing, you will be shown photographs and video, hear radio traffic, and learn about evidence from the scene. We hope this provides you with a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know as of this moment. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department conducts very thorough use of force investigations. Every deputy involved shooting is a traumatic event for all involved. Each deputy involved shooting is reviewed by independent investigative agencies to ensure compliance with the law and Sheriff's Department policy. Even as the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department conducts its own investigation, investigators and attorneys with the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office conduct their own independent review when someone is struck by gunfire. These investigations typically require multiple witness interviews, review of video footage, and analysis of a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are in the very early stages of this investigation. Our understanding of the incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We do not draw conclusions about whether the involved department members acted consistent with the law, our policies, and our training until all the facts are known and the entire investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a law enforcement officer uses force to effect an arrest of a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is advised. This incident began on June 7, 2020 at approximately 2.23 a.m. when industry station patrol units were dispatched to an emergency call of a pedestrian who had reportedly been struck by a train. Deputies and Los Angeles County Fire responded Code 3 to the train tracks near 17300 Railroad Street in the City of Industry. Industry units Code 3, 929, 902R, 17300 Railroad, cross of Azusa, eastbound train east of Azusa, Hit a person tag 370 to 1. Two deputies assigned to industry station arrived, contacted representatives from Union Pacific Railroad, who escorted them to the area where they believed the train had struck a pedestrian on the tracks. The train had been brought to a stop approximately one mile after the collision. Since it was nearing 2.30 a.m. and extremely dark, deputies and the railroad employees used their flashlights to search the area. As they walked to the west along the north side of the train, they saw 38-year-old Jared Wayne Hurst on his knees facing the train holding his head. He was bleeding and deputies believe that he was the person who had been struck by the train. As the group approached, Hurst suddenly stood, began screaming, and charged at them with a knife raised above his head. Recognizing the danger, the railroad employees ran behind the deputies and away from the attack. The deputies began retreating as they repeatedly commanded Hearst to stop and drop the knife. Hearst ignored repeated orders to stop and continued to advance on the deputies. As Hearst neared them, the deputies drew their weapons and fired a combined total of 15 times. Jared Hearst was struck by the gunfire and fell to the ground. Deputies disarmed Hearst and immediately called for assistance, including an emergency medical response. They provided emergency medical aid for Hearst, which included treatment for his gunshot wounds and the application of a tourniquet, until relieved by the fire department personnel. Jared Hearst was treated at the scene by Los Angeles County Fire Department paramedics and was transported to Pomona Valley Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Jared Hurst sustained a total of four gunshot wounds to his legs and one to his chest. No deputies or other civilians were injured in this incident. Although no video captured the entire event, a video from the locomotive was obtained showing Hurst walking directly toward the train near the tracks. The video will now be played for your review.
Investigators recovered the knife used during the attack from the scene. Jared Wayne Hurst had numerous felony convictions and had been released from an Arizona prison days prior to the incident. He had absconded from his parole in Arizona and traveled via bus to California. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department has begun a thorough and in-depth investigation. Homicide investigators will continue to investigate this incident by completing additional interviews, examining additional evidence and toxicology results, and completing forensic reviews of the involved evidence. When completed, the facts of the investigation will be presented to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office Justice System Integrity Division for review and a determination whether the force used was within the law. Following the District Attorney review, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Internal Affairs Bureau will complete an administrative investigation of the incident. The Internal Affairs Bureau will present the case to the Executive Force Review Committee, which will evaluate the performance of the deputies and determine if their tactics and use of deadly force was within policy and met the high standards of the Sheriff's Department. On behalf of Sheriff Alex Villanueva, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is appreciative of your interest and understanding in this incident.